yeah, that joint sturdy. <laughs> that joint sturdy a little bit. Where are we at? No, that joint hard. I ain't even gonna hold you. That's a good mix. Rookie year is a uh, it's an introduction. It's more of a uh, intro about Mitch Lakes. Um, deeper than what I, deeper than any project that I put out. Uh, more of a blend, and there's more tracks that y'all could just vibe out and listen to. Mainly, my producers were like kind of sporadic. It was two I met online, and one of them I met uh, through a homie. So I met. I mean, I had like probably like three or four producers on there in total. Othello had like four beats on there, so shout out to Othello. It's definitely expect some visuals. Um, if not, if not more than half, but definitely expect some visuals, man. I ain't gonna blow the cover and say which ones, but um, one of them already out. Small talk, definitely already out. Y'all go get that. Bars wise, I feel like it was just the best one. Um, and it's the last song on the project, so I feel like the last song that I left the people with, I get I get in detail and tell them about. Your attitude different when climbing from the bottom. On stage, I'm a star. D, I'm playing for dollars. Had hoop dreams in college. Imagine how many working for that 12-man roster. Please don't overanalyze it. Um, Pretty much. It's like when you come from the bottom, it's like you, you, you more hungry. You know what I mean? You done seen things that people who was more fortunate than you, you know what I mean? You 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 haven't experienced those opportunities, so you you your hunger is a little bit different, you know what I mean? So you you coming at it with a little bit stronger mentality, you know what I mean? So that's that's where that approach came off and I wanted to come off like strong, open up the way I was going in uh in the song. This was the last track off the project. Um uh Hoop dreams in college. Imagine how many working for that 12 man roster. Please don't overanalyze it. Um, you know, it's, it's millions of kids around the world who like eat, sleep basketball. You know what I mean? Like, don't know, not, don't know nothing else. That's, that's what they put their time into. So it's like, all these kids not gonna make it to the NBA though. You know what I mean? Sad to say, uh, you can't tell them that, but that's just the reality. So. More than moderate, million hours of preparation. Pressure form diamonds, treat us like we donation. System need refinement, pay us our reparations. For the cops that should be, not under investigation. Um, so I'ma touch on, on this, on these bars, I'ma touch on, uh, what? Pressure form diamonds, treat us like we donation. Um, you know, as black people, we, we the most valuable uh, I think mine's on this, like on this earth, and you know we don't get treated like that with the same respect. You know what I mean? And uh, the same opportunities uh, is not presented towards us, and you know what I mean. I think that was a, a important uh, bar to you know have in there and include. So that's why I said I said my piece to that. Now can I leave if I'm not under arrest? Give you a ticket for this tail light, now go get it fixed. Next time I won't remind you. See that don't sound right now, he talking without his tonsils. In the court of law, skin color is what define you. Sticking to that story, see them faces on the jury and none of them looking like you. Um, where I'ma touch on on that, uh, that was an actual real story too. Give you a ticket for this tail light, now go get it fixed. Next time I won't remind you. See, they don't sound right now. He talking without his tonsils. It's pretty much, they talked, like the cops, they talk to us any type of way. You feel what I'm saying? Like with no, with no like reper repercussions or not, nothing. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, that was just a small little uh, touch on how, you know, uh, something could get stirred up between you and the cop and that'll, that'll get them a motive to, you know what I mean? Who knows if you walk out of there like, dead or alive type, so that's just touching on that for real, for real. With an everlasting high, so my plane is never falling. And while we debating, it's obvious my flow is sharp. It's gonna be hard to get me out the game like stains on your carpet. Just my melanin could cause miscellaneous charges. Kill a rapper, wipe the gun right before I toss it. Um, That was just, uh, you know, me talking my shit a little bit, you know what I mean? Uh. It's gonna be hard getting me out the game like stains on your carpet. I'm gonna be here for a long time. You know what I mean? That's just that's pretty much what that was saying. And you know what I mean? I believe that. As I arrive is when they start packing up. Expect a massacre when I spit this Philly vernacular. Um, that's pretty much. 
I'm, I talk I talk different. How I rap is different. You know what I mean? It's not your ordinary Philly rapper, I guess. Like that's what I hear. So I don't really look at it like that. But just when you hear me, just that's what I'm bringing. My Philly vernacular. My my type of my type of rap. That's how I wanted to uh, you know cap that verse off. I wouldn't call it luck when so many believe in you. I was no drug dealer, bought a skull out when I needed to. A kind of soul flow is pure, had to up the price. Who used to know me say he used to hoop. How was he that nice? Um, you know, uh, I used to hoop, you know what I mean? I used to play ball before anything. That was my passion. So, you know, even when I stopped playing ball and I wanted to be a rapper, it was like eyes was looking at me kind of funny, you know what I mean? You already know, you rap now. You ain't about to do nothing with that. Go back the ball. So it was just like, you know, I had a lot of ears and a lot of a lot of eyes, like trying to see what what would I do. And I think me hooping, it made people interested in what I had to say. So I think that I played that I played that hand well as well. And um, you know, I was no drug dealer, bought a skull out when I needed to. That pretty much I wasn't trying to be Jeezy, you know what I mean? Niggas, you know what I mean, all in the trap or nothing like that, just to get a few dollars and Make my way through school, for real, for real, so. Died and came back, come and witness me in my afterlife. Only for my people, use my body as a sacrifice. Prepared if I don't leave the same way I stepped in. I'ma stay in the lab while they worry about the next man. Um, That's pretty much, man, you know, you fall out, you had your fallouts with people, and it don't be uh, it don't be personal. You just, you just see where uh, the energy is between you and them, and you separate yourself, you know what I mean? And, when you see them out in public, you know what I mean? They know they know what type of energy they 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 should be expecting and vice versa. So it shouldn't be no uh, you know, confrontation or no, no surprises or nothing like that. And that's where I was going at with those bars. Um died and came back, come and witness me in my afterlife, only for my people, use my body as a sacrifice. That's pretty much for my people, I'ma die for. You feel what I'm saying? For my word, for my morals and you know what I mean, for my family. Uh, overall, and that's where I was going at with that, you know what I mean? Pretty much touching on that. Left them in the past, I ain't see them in my future plan. And when they see me, they know where we stand. How them files looking in your folder? And I don't see me folding, leave a legacy, gonna remember me when it's all over. Um, That's self-explanatory, man. Like, I'm gonna leave my legacy, you know what I mean? For everybody to know, you know what I mean? Not just my city, but for the world. We're gonna make it global. And, um, you know, that's how that's how I'ma leave my imprint, you know what I mean? For me and my for me and mine. Watch the Floyd shoulder, never lose composure. And when it's all said and done, I'ma say I told you. These niggas won't last ahead of my class. I know my time coming. Just be ready for the explosion. Blah. Um Pretty much, man. Listen, I'm I ain't gonna say I feel like I've been here before, but you know, I'm just I'ma be prepared when my time is like you know what I mean? Present itself. You know what I mean? I'm going to be prepared. And that's pretty much what I'm stating in this these last bars. Uh, you know, ahead of my class, I know my time coming. Just be ready. And that's just what it is. You know what I mean? Just giving the world a little, just a little sneak peek on what, what could be. You know what I mean? What can be from Mitch Lakes. You know what I mean? In the future. So um, that's how we wrap that up. You know what I mean? Real me. Shout out to Lil Bro for the hat, man. This a, this this the official Mitch Lakes uh, number eight rookie year 101. Shout out to Lil Bro. He laced me this uh, this past holiday for that. Shout out to Lil Bro. Um, shout out to uh, the whole team, man. Dope School, uh, GL. You know what I mean? All bars matter for bringing me here. Always love when I come through. And um, rookie year on all streaming platforms. Y'all go get that, man. Real rap. Philly, we gonna shit the city up, man. Stop playing, man.